Hi, this is MJ and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make an adorable kitten sweater. The pattern that I have made comes with three sizes, but it is easily modified so you can easily make it larger for a larger pet. I do want to mention that it can be dangerous wearing a sweater on your pet, so make sure to do your research and never leave your cat unattended. These sweaters here were for the purpose only of a photo prop. So for a nice picture, if you wanted a photo, family photo with your cat or just taking a picture, but I would never leave my cat unsupervised or leave this on them for any length of time. Now these would make a perfect sweaters for dogs, especially in the winter if they're going outside for your small breed dogs. You could also make the sweater bigger for a larger dog. It's really easy to modify and there will be instructions on how to do that in the pattern. Also, if you have a hairless cat, this would be a great option for them if they're going out in the cold. I'll be working on the kitten sweater in today's tutorial and I have these modeled on my six week old kittens. The yarn that I'm using is Lullaby from Mary Maxim. This is a 100% my, a premium micro acrylic. It is a DK weight and it comes in all of these beautiful shades, which are nice and fun and bright. I'll be using a four millimeter crochet hook and this is a G hook from Furls Crochet and I'm using the Taurus. I'll be working with the color Snuggles for this tutorial. So all the information you're going to need is going to be found in the description box below this video. So links to the yarn, to the pattern, etc., will all be found there. I also want to mention that you can slow down this tutorial. It's beginner friendly, but if I'm working through the pattern too quickly, you can go and change the speed settings to slow down the video. So just go to the gear icon and you can change the speed. If you're learning to crochet, I suggest you watch my beginner tutorials and I have a slow beginner tutorial on how to do a double crochet stitch, which is what this little sweater is crocheted in. And our collar is going to be crocheted in single crochets in the back loop only. And I have a tutorial, a beginner tutorial for that stitch as well. To begin, we'll put a slip knot on our hook and we'll chain out five. We'll be working a single crochet from the second chain from the hook and in each chain across. Chain one and turn. We'll now work a single crochet in the back loop only. Making sure that we have four stitches each row and we're just going to continue working this until we have 32 rows. And this should easily fit over your kitten's head. We don't want it too tight. We're just working back and forth, working single crochets in the back loop only. Okay, so I've worked a total of 32 rows and you can count your little ridges by twos. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 31, 32, 32. Now I'll chain one. I'm just gonna fold it together, right sides facing. Okay, and then we are just gonna slip stitch it together. So go through the back loop across to the starting chain. One, two, three, Four. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to put that seam to the inside. And now we're going to work around in single crochets. So one single crochet per row. So one, two, three, 
four. And as you work through, you can look at the rows here. This one will be going through sort of that thicker section, five. And then we're going through just more of that little loop right here, six. And that will help keep you on track. Seven, eight. So let's work that all the way around for a total of 32 stitches. Okay, so now we'll slip stitch in our first single crochet to join. I'm going to chain three and work a double crochet in the first stitch. So this will be my first V stitch. Next, I'll work across five double crochet, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and this will be the first sleeve section. In the next stitch, we'll do a V. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Now we'll be going across the back of the sweater and I'm going to work across 14 stitches. So one, two, so double crochet, 14 across. Okay, I've worked across 14 and now we'll do another V. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And we'll do the next sleeve, which will be another five. So work across five double crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Then we'll work another V. So double crochet, chain one and double crochet. And now the front will just be a smaller section because this will be the front part of our little kitten. So it doesn't need to be as wide. So we'll work for one, two, three, four. And then we'll slip stitch into our starting chain to join. We'll chain three and work a double crochet in the same space and that will create our first V stitch. So now you need to be really careful to work into those stitches. So those double crochets from our V of the previous round. So the first time we worked across the sleeve, we had five stitches. This time we should have seven. So make sure you grab that first one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay, and then we're at the V stitch. So in the chain one space, we'll work a V. So double, chain one, and double. Okay, and then we're to the back and we had 14 stitches. This time we should have 16. Again, make sure to not miss that first double crochet, which is our V of the previous round. So I'm gonna work this across counting to make sure that I have 16. Okay, I've worked across 16. I'm coming to the next chain one space of the V and we'll work a double crochet, chain one and double crochet in that space to work another V. Now we are coming to the next sleeve, so that will be seven stitches. Okay, we're to the next V, a double crochet, chain one, 
chain one, double crochet in the chain one space. And now we should be ending off with six because we had four. So make sure you get that first double. One, two, three, four, five. And you're gonna notice that there's not another stitch to work into, but we need six stitches. So in that slip stitch here, we're working the last stitch so that we have six. Now we'll slip stitch to join. We'll chain three, work a double crochet. So we've made our next V. We're gonna continue now in this manner, the same way we did the last round, but this time like every section goes up by two stitches. So five, seven, nine, this time we had 14, 16, it will be 18 this time. Okay, so just work it the same way we did the previous round. Now I will work two more rounds so that I have a total of four rounds and then I'm gonna meet you up. Now, as you're coming around to the last section, I just wanna make sure that you're always working that final stitch into that slip stitch right here so you have enough stitches. So don't miss that extra stitch. This time we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches and I'm going to now complete my fourth round. Okay, so I'm finishing up that fourth round. I have 10 stitches here, the back is 20, and each of the sleeves are 11. I'm going to slip stitch into that first V. We're now going to skip right over the first sleeve section. You're gonna find your next V. We're going to slip stitch into it. We're going to slip stitch into the first double crochet. And I'm going to chain two. Now we're gonna start working across the back. I've worked a double crochet in the first stitch and I'm gonna continue all the way over to our next V. Okay, so I've worked across 22 double crochet stitches. We're coming to the next V. We're just going to skip entirely over it. Here's our next V. Okay, and now that first double crochet. So here's the double crochet or the first after the chain one space. We wanna be working into that double. Okay, so there's one. two, Okay, and here will be my 12th, which is gonna go right in here. Okay, so 22 and now 12, and we're going to do a reverse slip stitch to join, okay? So you're gonna hold your yarn to the front of your work. You're just going to go through that first double crochet. We're going back to front. So get your hook pushed through. We're just gonna take that yarn It can be sometimes a little bit to get it through. This yarn does tend to be splitty. Okay, and we're just gonna pull that through to join. We're going to chain two. And we're now going to work in every stitch around. So in the first stitch, our chain two is not counting as a stitch. You should have 34 stitches as you work around. Okay, so I've worked around 34 stitches. And just before we join up, as you can see, here's the 
front, which is the bottom of our little kitten, and then the back going up the back of our kitten. So we can now make the little sweater really as long as we want. We're gonna join in and do another round of those sleeves. But I've worked 34. I'm going to reverse slip stitch to join, so we just need to find that starting double crochet. Okay, chain two. And I'm just gonna now continue in rounds at those 34 stitches. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I want a total of 10 rounds going all the way down the little back of the sweater. Okay, so you can see how doing that reverse slip stitch join, it really hides our seam. Now what we're going to do is a join as you go band just to have it matching the collar section. So we're going to chain out five. And we're going to be working this just like the collar, except we'll be joining it onto the base here as we go. So in the second chain from the hook, we're going to work a single crochet. And in each of the next three chains. Okay, and now we'll skip our first stitch right here. We're going to slip stitch into the next two. And then we'll crochet two rows for those two slip stitches. We'll be working in the back loop only. So one, two, three, four. Here's our first stitch. So we're skipping the two slip stitches. We're working a single crochet in the back loop only. So there's two, three, and four. Chain one and turn. And we'll work a single crochet in the back loop only down four. So one, two, three, four. And then we'll slip stitch into the next two stitches. Okay, and then we'll work two more rows and we're going to continue this all the way around. Okay, so we want a total of 34 rows, one row per stitch. So I'm gonna complete this now off camera and then I'll meet you back up. Okay, so once we get all the way around, you're ending with just one slip stitch. I've worked back up, I'm going to chain one and we're just gonna slip stitch the band together, okay? So I'm folding it this way so that I have right sides facing. You can also just seam this as well if you want to just cut a yarn tail and use your yarn needle that works as well or just slip stitch it together okay i'm just grabbing some strings there i'm going to do this off camera and then once you've done that we're just fastening that off you can weave in that tail after but let's join on and show you how to do the sleeves. So one sleeve, we've already slip stitched those V's together as you can see, so it's a little bit smaller opening. And then this opening's bigger because we skipped over those V's and didn't slip stitch them. So what we'll do now is get them slip stitched together. So let's get a slip knot, put it on our hook. You're going to find the V we're going to join with a slip stitch. Okay, and then go right across to our other V slip stitch. And we're going to slip stitch into the first double crochet, chain two, and we're going to work double crochets around. I've worked around 13 stitches. We're gonna have this tail that you can use to sort of weave through any, kind of fill in any holes. And now we're just going to slip stitch to join. I like to keep the armhole fairly big if possible, just because I find the kittens 
it, they'll struggle to get their little paw through. So you don't really want this tight at all. We want a nice big hole. So it's easy to get their little paws and their little arms through. Okay, and then you can weave in, of course, all those tails. And just when you're weaving, uh, sew up any of the holes, any of the gapping. Now for this sleeve, it's a little bit easier because we're not doing those slip stitches. We'll put a slip knot on the hook and we're just gonna join in to that first double. So we need to find that first double crochet. Okay, joining with that slip stitch chain two and then we're working double crochets around so a total of 13. Okay so just like the other side once we get all the way around we're going to slip stitch to join. Fasten off and now all we need to do is weave in all these tails. And then you can see this is the little back. It's a nice little fit for the kittens. And there's more sizes included in the pattern. So if you go to the description box, you'll see the links to go over to the blog or to purchase the PDF that will include all of the sizes. So this is a really great size for your little kitten that is maybe five to eight weeks old, but there's going to be other sizes included as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tap the bell so you stay updated on all my new videos and tutorials. Thanks so much, guys. Have an awesome day.